Number 68. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it is a metallic, network covalent, ionic, or molecular crystalline solid that is formed by each of the following substances, and in this case we have CO2, which is carbon dioxide. Now, there are a total of four different crystalline solids. We just have to figure out which one is CO2. And I kind of wrote down a little cheat sheet here that we'll go through uh, to figure out what is the right answer. So I guess let's start from left to right. A metallic crystalline solid will be formed if there is just a metal. And the word metal is in the word metallic. So metal, metallic, you should just see a metal. But on the periodic table, right, carbon, let me just highlight this, carbon, which is capital C, that's a non-metal. And oxygen if we look for what oxygen is on the periodic table, oxygen is also a nonmetal. So I don't just have a metal. So we're going to pass on the metallic crystalline solid. Let's go to an ionic crystalline solid. Ionic crystalline solids come from ionic compounds. Remember all the way back in Gen Chem, Gen Chem 1, right? All the way back in the beginning. An ionic compound always is between a metal and a nonmetal, or if you see any polyatomics. But just like we said before, no metals here. I got two nonmetals. So that's out. We're moving on to a molecular crystalline solid. Molecular crystalline solids, molecules come from covalent compounds. And remember, covalent compounds are always all nonmetals. So in this case, that's what we got here. We have two nonmetals, so technically this should be a molecular crystalline solid. Comes from molecule covalent compound, but let's just make sure it's not a network covalent. Now a network covalent crystalline solid is when you would just see a single nonmetal, kind of like the equivalent to metallic, where you would just see a single metal. Network covalent, you would just see a single nonmetal or anything with silicon being the first element. But here I have two different uh, nonmetals, and one of them is not silicon. So it would not be a network covalent crystalline solid. It would form as a molecular crystalline solid. So let's just write that down. And we're done with this one. Crystalline solid. And I guess we'll go, we'll go green. Oh boy, that's way too small. There we go. Let's keep painting, best part. And then we're done. Good enough. Okay, uh, what'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for coming here for all your educational needs. We have physics and math videos on the channel and more subjects to come in the future. So come, come, come stop by, you know, periodically, see what we got. We love helping you out. My brother and I, we so appreciate all of you guys who use this channel to, to get better in, in your classes. So keep studying hard, always keep learning, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.